Hey! Any fish? It's the 26th of November, 2018. And, uh, this just came upon me here as I saw this article. And uh, I did a short video yesterday. It's on the other channel, I think. Yeah, it's in the other channel. And it's just basically, you know, talking about how everything is being revealed. The things, the lies, all being revealed, okay? All the various things that people are beginning to truly, you know, understand to some degree. Waking up, if you will. Um, I, I went over it in the other video, but they are coming out and subtly introducing the whole idea of things like chemtrails, uh, as they've been doing for many years, but now... They're just lulling the, the sleeping people with another lullaby, telling them, oh, we must do this geoengineering. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's no different with this, okay? This is another uh, subtle little thing that they'll introduce to the people so that they can, you know, be assured that their children won't be born with diseases and that they can get them to be taller and, you know, better looking or have, uh, you know, certain skills. They're editing the fabric of life in humans. This is what it's been going on for a very long time. And it would probably make most people vomit if they knew what's really going on. The various creatures they've created and everything. It's absolutely insane. Now, we're in the end times. If, if it's not evident to most people, it will be soon. Because things are being revealed so quickly. It's just like a deluge. It will probably take a little time for it to promulgate, you know, out into the people. But as it does, they're going to come out with things like this, left and right, to illustrate the benefits and the short term, you know, uh, you know, good things you can get out of this kind of stuff. It's all just the works of the devil. They, they He feeds on your flesh. So it's like you need to understand that your flesh is very temporary. And just you seeking comfort through the knowledge of men in this life is going to lead you down into the pit of hell. It just, it's just really that simple. Okay? Now, I don't want to get off on some crazy diatribe here, but if you read this article... You know, again, there's an ethics thing. They're very vocal about how ethical it is and all these things to make designer babies and everything. But what these people are bringing out now, and you have to understand what this means, it's, it's the science itself is saying society will decide what to do next. Okay? Now, what do you think society is going to choose if they don't know the truth? Okay, they, they don't understand, you know, that life is temporary and that no matter what man offers you up, it, it will not give you what you think will fill the pit in your, in your gut, you know, that God-shaped hole, because that's what's missing is God. If you have that empty pit in your belly, you're, you're missing God. That's all it is. You, you need the food of God, which is the word of God. But if you've never, you know, gotten into the Bible, I understand because I never did either until I came to the knowledge of Christ. And that's just the way it worked with me. Okay? But people will tell you there are certain things that you have to do in order to be saved and to stay saved and what have you. When the fact of the matter is, is all you really need is a sincere and humble love for the truth that you understand you cannot come to the conclusion. Do you understand? That our carnal minds, no matter how many PhDs you have in various fields of endeavor and science, you cannot ever know the true meaning of who you are and why you're here and what, what your purpose is until you know God. And that's just a fact. I'm just telling you. Your mind and the world will convince you that you can know and that you can defeat death, and that you can, you know, live as you like, 
and that there is no judgment at the end of this because there will be no end of it. Do you understand? It's a trick, a trap, a snare. Just like all these wonderful things that they come out with. Okay? You know, you can just pick a, pick a subject. Fluoride, vaccines, the, the whole thing. Technology, which God is over all. But you know, we have free will. We have to figure these things out on our own. And most people come to a point in their life where they realize they're at a dead end. And there ain't nothing but darkness ahead in this world. And death. And many people take their own lives for that very reason. Because they did not have a love of the truth. They could not just put their trust in something that they've never seen, they've never touched, smelt, or read about in a science book. And they're afraid to death to pick up the Bible because no one's ever told them what's in it for real. And what's in it is your salvation and your purpose in life. You need to discover that on your own by Christ Jesus. Okay? It's a free gift. You need only believe on him, but you need to know him first. Okay? Don't let anyone tell you you got to go get baptized or you have to eat a certain way or attend a certain church or pray on a certain day or face in a certain way. No. You need to understand that you cannot think your way or, you know, surgery your way or technology your way out of the ultimate end of this life. And that, my friends, is death. Period. End of discussion. Jesus is life. He's the only life sent by God. Okay? You need to just humble yourself. That's the key. Because these uh, deceiving, uh, you know, doctrines are being introduced left and right and center. And they're just being sugar-coated so that you can hear sweet words that'll lead you to death. Okay? Now, this gene editing thing, I'm telling you, is is part of the beast's system. It's going to involve the mark of the beast through the DNA. Because the DNA is the one thing that God has preserved in mankind that allows us to know him. And that's the way that it's it's interpreted to me. It, it really is that simple. You, you cannot mess with the DNA. And it's all about the generations. If you just, if you just take the time to study even just the genealogy from Adam all the way through to Jesus, okay? You'll see it's all about the DNA, the blood, okay? Jesus came by water and blood, not by water only. And so it's about your salvation through the blood of Christ, the Lamb of God. But it is a faith, it's a belief, and you can only come to that faith and belief when you hear the true word of God of salvation by Christ Jesus. There's no human thing that's going to get you out of this mess. Even if you have a super happy life and lots of money and you get to do what you want, just think about it. How quick is your life? It's but a whisper, a breath of wind, and it's gone. And it doesn't end there, folks. Okay? The, the generations, the genes, that's what got me going on this, because it's all about that. I mean, I pulled my random Bible verse, and again, this is the only reason I'm probably making the video if he didn't give me this random Bible verse. 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 4. Okay, and the Spirit speaks expressly. In the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. This is talking about those who have already known Christ giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Which is exactly what this is. Right here. It's a seducing spirit. It's a doctrine of devils. Right? Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry. Commanding to abstain from meat. This is happening like crazy throughout the body of Christ. And it ought not be. <laughs> okay? The seducing spirits. 1 Timothy 4, 1, 4 is a 14, 14. It just came to my understanding. And the sevens, the 14s, 7, 7, have everything to do with the very DNA passed from Adam all the way to Christ. If you read the Bible, it's fascinating. 
just for this fact alone. How all the way from Adam, look at Enoch was seventh from Adam, okay? He was translated. He was a very special man. And you can continue it. Selah, you have to read these things to understand the significance of it. Abraham was 21st from Adam, 777. Okay, then he comes and he has Isaac and Jacob, which, you know, branches, separate trees, but the same DNA, the same blood. You understand? David, 14th from Abraham, 7-7. Seven, seven. And it continues on and on. It's, it's, it's so fascinating that you can never pull yourself away from it once you get into it. When you understand it's the truth. It's the word of God. And the pit in your gut begins to be filled. Just And before you know it, it's overflowing. And you just want to tell people, this world is a lie. It's a lie. Seek Jesus Christ. He's the truth. And they run away. But things are coming that are going to more or less force people into contemplating these things. Praise God. He is just amazing. We can never know his ways, but it's always for the good. The sevens. Fourteenth Jesus was counting. You know, you have to get in and read about Zerubbabel. And, I mean, it's so fascinating. But Mary... How Jesus came through water and blood. Mary is a direct descendant of Adam. 76 generations down. And Jesus was the 77th. 711. I mean, think about it. It's just amazing. But it's real. And this is coming on the scene real fast. And it'll be very tempting. Don't let them mess with your DNA. In my personal opinion, don't let them jab you with a needle. Don't eat their GMO food. I know that you're breathing their poisons every day, but, you know, you can mitigate some of it. But most of all, be in Christ Jesus and thankful to God. And he will cleanse you, even on a literal sense. You know, be grateful for the food that you eat, whatever it is. And he will bless you. It's so fascinating and so wonderful. I just want people to understand that it's so near that this choice and this contemplation, this time of quiet and peace is not going to last. The world is about to get very chaotic and very troublesome. And you won't really have the wherewithal if you're not in Christ to deal with it. And you'll listen to any seducing doctrine. You understand? Jesus is the only way, and don't let him mess with your DNA. <laughs> okay, so I had to share that with you. I was just compelled to do it. There it is. Links will be in description. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 